Hello everyone, this is a short video on how to weigh your hatchling leopard tortoise. This video is also applicable to other species of tortoises you may have. The topics that I'll be covering in this video are when and why to weigh your hatchling, what to use, how to weigh your hatchling and I'll be doing a demonstration on this and what is the expected weight gain. So the first topic, when and why to weigh your hatchling. I recommend weighing your tortoise each week so you can monitor your tortoise's development and weight closely and preferably in the morning before they've had any food and also before they've had a bath. Next I'll cover the items that you'll need to weigh your tortoise. So you'll need some scales so you can measure in grams. You can either place them directly on the scales or you can use an upturned pot to balance them on so that they don't scurry away when you're trying to weigh them. For my hatchlings and smaller tortoises, I use an egg cup. Or you could use another smaller pot like this ramekin and turn it upside down. The item that you pick for your tortoise to sit on top of should fit nicely in their plastron, this area here. If it's bigger than this, then your tortoise may be able to push itself over the edge and could potentially hurt himself. And you'll also need your weight and length chart and of course your baby tortoise. So now that we've got the items that we need, we can now weigh the tortoise. The first thing to do is disinfect the area and the items that we'll be using to weigh the tortoise with tortoise safe disinfectant. I do have another video on the tortoise safe disinfectant that I use if you want more information on this. Now we need to place the egg cup on top of the scales and switch the scales on. Then we need to make sure that the scales are showing grams and that it's set to zero. And then place the baby tortoise on top of the egg cup. And as you can see, this tortoise is quite calm and not struggling to try and get off the egg cup. And then we check its weight. So that's 50, 51 grams. Then we'll make a note of the weight on the weight and length chart. So we just take the baby off the scales first and then grab our weight and length chart. Then we can write down the weight against today's date, which in this case is the 24th of October. So it's 51 grams. Then we can compare the weights over the past few weeks to make sure that the weight gain is as expected. Next we'll talk about what the expected weight gain should be. What we're looking for here is that your tortoise has a slow and steady weight gain. It's worth pointing out that each tortoise will put on weight at different rates, even those that are fed on identical food and kept on the same tortoise table. For example, some of my baby leopard tortoises up to about a year old, they've been fed on the same diet in the same enclosure. They've been putting on anything between one to eight grams per week but this tends to average out around two grams a week over the course of a few months. If you do any research on what weight gain is expected for your tortoise, you'll find hugely varying and confusing weight gain information out there. This is mainly due to what the owners are feeding their tortoises, how often they're feeding them, how much exercise the tortoises are getting, as well as how warm their environment is as heat helps your tortoise digest its food better. But to keep it simple, for leopard tortoises, we're hoping to see somewhere between one to two grams weight gain per week until they're about a year old. And by comparing the weights that you've written down for the past two to three weeks, you should be able to see if their weight gain is as expected. What we want to avoid is a significant weight gain or weight loss each week or a continued weight loss each week. If you do see this, then it could be due to a number of reasons. For example, the quality or quantity of food that you offer to your tortoise. I do have another video on what to feed your leopard tortoise, which goes into a lot of detail on this subject. Or your tortoise may lose a bit of weight when it's been to the toilet. 
Their weight may also be affected if you weigh them at different times of the day. For example, if you weigh them one week in the morning before they've had their food, and then the following week you weigh them in the evening after they've been grazing all day, this would also affect their weight. Another reason for weight changes is if you weigh them before or after their bath. As your tortoise will drink and take on water when it's in the bath, as well as wee and poo in the bath, which also affects their weight. The amount of exercise your tortoise is getting may also affect their weight. For example, as I touched on earlier, a lively, warmer tortoise will digest its food quicker compared to a more docile tortoise that's kept in slightly cooler temperatures. If you're at all concerned about any weight gains or weight losses, then I'd recommend doing the health checks right away. And then if you're still concerned, then please take your tortoise to your vets immediately to get checked over. I do have another video on how you can check the health of your tortoise if you want more information on this. So going back to the little tortoise that we weighed earlier, we can check its weight gain over the past few weeks. So we can see between the weeks of the 24th of the 9th and the 2nd of the 10th, there was an increase in one gram in weight. Then the following week between the 2nd of the 10th and the 8th of the 10th, there was no increase in weight. And between the 8th of the 10th and the 16th of the 10th, there was an increase of five grams. And the final week between the 16th of the 10th and the 24th of the 10th, there was an increase in three grams in weight. So if we take the average of the weights over the past four weeks, so one, zero, five, and three, the total is nine grams over four weeks. Then if we divide the nine grams by four weeks, this gives us an average of 2.25 grams per week which is in the range I'd expect for a leopard tortoise up to about a year old. If we look at this tortoise's weight since its hatch date, we can see that some weeks it appears to have a growth spurt, like I've circled here. Then the weight gain slows down for a couple of weeks before another growth spurt. And this is quite normal for hatchling leopard tortoises, so that's why I'd recommend taking an average of their weights over a few weeks. You may have also spotted this pattern in the graphs that I showed you previously of some of my baby leopard tortoises growth rates. So in summary, the points we've covered in this video are, I'd recommend weighing your tortoise weekly, and to do this ideally the same time of day each week, before they've eaten any food, and before they've had a bath, and to make a note of your tortoise's weight, so you can check there's a steady weight gain compared to previous weeks. And finally, we're aiming for approximately one to two grams weight gain per week, up until your leopard tortoise is about a year old. Thanks for watching my video, and if you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.